All right, my name is Ray Graves, and I built Penelope the tiny house. And she is seven foot wide by 20 foot long, and she weighs about 8,000 pounds. Uh, but it is the complete apartment on wheels that you can take anywhere in the world. Um, I've installed regular sized everything and fit it all in the, this tiny little package. Starting with, you know, keyless entry, key if you need it, and then code if you don't. And I want to show you how good it looks during the day with all the lights out. If you want it to be dark, if you need it to be dark, if you want to sleep, if you want to work, if you want to game, you have it completely dark inside, including this LED strip right here. This is my favorite, one of my favorite parts because I like the game. But if you don't want the LED strip, it's not yet installed, so I'll just take it out. If you do want it, I'll have it installed proper and you don't need to worry about lines and everything like that. And of course it's all remote control. Um, and okay, so everything in this apartment is full size. There's no tiny anything, um, but it fits the lifestyle for one to two people. This is a queen size bed. It's elevated off the ground. So there's a ton of storage underneath. Uh, there's a shelf on the back wall. You have your electrical plate here to open up the YouTube breaker box. This is a 500 BTU um, air conditioner and a 50 inch TV that extends right up out of it, the wall here. I did black wainscoting on the entire thing. Uh, this is shiplap set vertically um, for your headboards. And the mattress is gel cooling foam, uh, so it's incredibly soft and it actually stays cool. In this area, what we did was uh, put in a huge wooden butcher block that extends all the way over here, and it is set up again for two um, as either dining or the perfect little workspace. You have a full size trash can because you use a lot more trash than you realize you do. Um, all of your appliances, air fryer, microwave, cure egg, mid size fridge, because the tiny one's not going to work but uh, a large one is not going to work either. So this is a perfect size for it. All the appliances are matching, all are black. Um, each side, or this has a large shelf here. All of the utensils, all of the um, plates, bowls, cups, all come with it. They're all specifically picked for here um, and very high quality. Uh, you have a huge sink right here. It's built in, uh, again, black. I custom did every piece of this project down to the black brackets for your towel, black counter or black sink, um, and every little piece of equipment in here is black. All of your light switches, all black. Um, lights also come with a dimmer and your exterior light switch right here. Uh, drying, washing, everything, all done right here easy in and out, tons of storage space underneath for silverware, food, whatever it is that you need to. Under here, you know, there's storage for bike helmet, um, so I, I do mountain biking, hiking, backpack, everything. You have storage for everything that you need and everything you want to do. Full dresser, and this is your hanging closet, that one shirt up here, um, but this leaves it open while still giving you the space you need to you utilize. Um, and again, every accent is black down to how you lock your bathroom door. This is a sliding barn door right here on um, a track. And for when you do move the house, everything is magnetically locked. All the drawers, all the cupboards, and this has its own little latch too, so you won't have to worry about breaking anything. The bathroom, also full size. I did all black out there, I did all white in here. Again, kept with the wainscoting. Um, and, the, and the shower itself is all custom. Um, I did all of this myself, custom made the shower rod, 
um, all black Kohler faucets and sink faucet. Everything is super modern, super clean, but it's all functional. Um, full sink, full toilet, mirror, shower, everything is, is full size and ready to go. Um, and all of it runs and works perfectly in any area, anywhere you want to take it. So I briefly wanted to talk about the details that went into Penelope and a little bit about my background. Uh, my background is in design and custom building and um, I've done several large projects and some television pertaining to those things and I've been doing this for a long time. So I've also lived inside of Penelope for about eight months now in different locations and through most every season so far. Uh, summer, winter, and fall, spring, everything. Um, so all the details that I custom built into Penelope are actually from living here, knowing what I need and the things that I want. So there's comfort and um, usability in everything, as well as aesthetic overall design. I did all black interior just because I thought that would be awesome. Um, but everything down to the windows being a certain size with custom lines and no extra cords and screens on the windows so you can have it open in the spring, fall, or depending on where you're at, winter, summer. Um, so even down to the bed, which is queen size, cooling gel mattress, because I get hot and it's just insanely comfortable. There's uh, shelves in different places or little things like that because you need a shelf in bed, but it's also set high enough you're not going to hit your head on it. The TV is 50 inch um, HD uh, because the movies are important. But it also comes up out of the wall and turns so you can watch it from the couch or from the bed. Um, your countertop also doubles as a workspace. It's incredibly comfortable with holes already drilled in so you can put your cords in without making a mess. And every light switch, every outlet is black. Every um, piece of hardware from all of the uniform holes on everything to the door locks and everything is all black and um, it all just really works together to make the face the space feel bigger but it also feels uniform and it still gives individual you know presence to each spot you have your couch you have your kitchen you have your bedroom you have your bathroom, workspace. Each thing is individually set apart while still blending as a whole. So I really love that design aspect of it. All right guys, I wanted to show you the outside of Penelope and tell you a little bit about what I did. I went with a matte black paint from the roof all the way down and all of the accessories. They're all matte black with the crisp white door on the outside. And I did that because it just looks really cool and it stands out. Uh, uh, against anything else uh, on the market right now. Another little feature I added was a uh, pull-up bar right here, and it completely comes off of Penelope, but it gives you a chance to work out and do a variety of different types of workouts while you're on the road, and it comes off very easily and sets up very easily. Setting up Penelope is incredibly easy. Uh, the way that I've designed it is it's very simple to set up, to tear down, and to move. You just simply plug in your power cord to your power source, plug in your water hose with filter into the line there, and plug in your sewage hose right there. And that's it. And when you're done, unplug it all, put it into the holding spots at the back of the trailer, um, and you're good to go. Super simple.